All right, last time I showed you guys how to uh, replace the the connection on your NES, how to clean it all off, and um, how to disable the lockout chip. Now I'm going to show you how to clean the pins on your game. I already showed you how to clean the outside in another video I uploaded with baby wipes, so do that. This, you can be very gentle with a uh, magic eraser to get that kind of stuff off. Don't go too hard because you see there's like a texture to the game. You don't want to rub that off. It looks really ugly. Actually, it looks better with this crap than it would with a rubbed off texture. So, what you're going to need is these two security bits. This one you're going to use for games. It's the smaller one. This one you'd use for Sega games and also for Nintendo 64 consoles, other consoles that use this. So if you're into fixing games, pick you up two of these. The, the link for a very good inexpensive pair from the U.S. is going to be in the comment or in the description of this video. So most have three screws right here one two three some have five some you're gonna uh, use a, a slotted screwdriver to open this is the normal Nintendo security bit I don't know what it's called right now so yeah see how easy that is already done just leave those there lift it up Okay, well, it's not quite done. Middle. Okay. Now, see, you could easily make the mistake here and just pull. These two pins help hold the game together. So you want to lift diagonally and kind of slide out. Okay, then what you got is the PCB right here. And just with the, like with the Nintendo, we're going to clean this thing. Uh, you can see how dirty this game is. Would it play? It could, with new pins. But you're going to screw your pins up. Blowing on it, does it work? Yeah, temporarily, but you're blowing saliva onto the game, which has acid and all that kind of stuff in it. Um, you're gonna crow the game even more. So, it's 30 years later and these games are still working. If you keep spitting on them, they might not last. So this one I just put a little bit on and I kind of go in a circle motion down the whole row. Get that on. And you can see it's kind of getting cleaner. You see the blackness on here. That actually looks pretty good. I'll just go with the other side of the Q-tip to get off any remaining residue. Now you don't want to go too crazy. Sometimes you could end up damaging, actually damage the game. If you rub off the whole thing. Like I mean, you're not gonna rub it totally off, but you're gonna do it enough where the connection's not that great. If you're really into advanced soldering and you got an expensive game, there is a way to replay these. It's very, very complicated, and since you have to buy gold and stuff, uh, it's kind of expensive too. You need expensive machines. So if you had like a game store or a cell phone repair store, you might want to look into that if you plan on being open for a while and if you plan on buying a lot of damage stuff but I mean if you're that advanced you know how to print your own boards so you'll be able to fix pretty much any issue okay so that's one side done flip it over do the same thing 
side side's much worse. Uh, but the uh, this stuff you don't want. It's not gonna hurt you, but you want to wash your hands after you're done messing with it. It will irritate your skin quite a bit. I'm just going to continue cleaning. That spot right there. Put a little bit of elbow grease into it. And got it. That side's done. Clean it off. Okay. Last one. Usually I use one Q tip per side, but. This one is pretty bad and there's a big separation. So I'm just doing each part. And by the way, that cleaner stuff, the uh, metal polish, that was about $7 to maybe $12. You can get it at any hardware store, Walmart. Okay, yeah, looks like we're done. All right, zoom out. Some crap here. Get rid of that. Okay, so just put your game back in the right way, like that. And remember I told you about these knobs? Shit. Put in diagonally. And then put down. Screw in. And play your game. That's it. And like I said again, uh, for a good pair of these screwdrivers, there's a link in my description. And I'm, I'm sorry that these videos are a little tedious and probably pretty boring, but these ones are not meant to entertain. My other series of videos are supposed to be entertaining and stupid. These are just supposed to teach you how to do it. So if you learned something, give me a like, subscribe to my uh, channel, like me on Facebook, uh, super gamey. See ya.